and bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Give to you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant to us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord, who made heaven and earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness and so we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, before the ending of this day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word. And tonight we listen to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9, which says, So then, there remains a Sabbath rest for God's people. Very simply, the writer to the Hebrews celebrates the fact that simple trust in Jesus has given us freedom from every striving we might otherwise have made to be right with God. The struggles to establish our own self-righteousness are a thing of the past once we have entrusted our all to him. Lord Jesus, in peace we will lie down to sleep, for our strivings and our failings lie inert at your feet, covered forever by your righteousness. Abide then with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past, as the night watch looks for the morning so do we look for you, O Christ. And so may the Lord our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace.